up you guys it's your girl Monet and I am here with a video this video is going to be about my mommy makeover that I have coming up it's scheduled for February the 15th 2022 <laughs> uh, and I am excited I'm very very much so excited um the mommy makeover consists of an abdominal plasty as well as a breast lift with um implants and yes I can't wait I'm very excited so, with that being said, I am going down to Miami, Florida to get this done. I am going to the Dr. D. Jesus. She is located at Spectrum Aesthetics. Um, I first um, started researching her on Instagram. I think like some of the work she had did and I fell in love with the work. Um, as well as, um, she's a woman, you know, and a woman knows what a woman wants, you know. And so, I feel like she was the best option for me. So, what I did was I went to their website, I clicked the free consultation, put my name, my email, and the procedure that I wanted to get, and sent it off to them. Um, they ended up emailing me back within like 24 to 48 hours, and they um, basically sent a medical questionnaire along with some example pictures of what they would like, the pictures that they would like for you to take. And you take them pictures and then you fill out that medical questionnaire and you send all of that information back to them in the email reply. So once I did all of that, they um, got back with me within about 24 hours and basically um, giving me my quote. I was quoted for $11,000. $11,000 for the um, extended tummy tuck as well as the breast lift with implants. Um, with silicone implant so eleven thousand dollars it was so with that being said this was in november i knew that i wanted to get my surgery done like you know in january i was aiming for like the last week of january so when i booked i um after i got my quote they allowed me to book uh with a five hundred dollar deposit is that five hundred dollar deposit secures your date so i think i i um booked for january the 25th originally um, January the 25th was my surgery day. Um, gave them my $500. Um, and so with that being said, I got my date. So the plan was to stack up my money up until it was time for surgery. And then I would pay the remainder off closer to the surgery day. So um, that was that. So I reached my 60-day mark at about um, November 25th, 2021 was my 60-day mark. So with that being said, they send me an email, and the email consists of the my labs that they my labs that they wanted completed. Um, they also wanted a chest X-ray done, an abdominal ultrasound, and a EKG done. So um, I went to go get all of that done. I went to my the local hospital, the hospital that I would normally go to. I did have to call and schedule an appointment, uh, so I just called um, the hospital. I let them know, hey. I have um, some orders that I need to be filled by my doctor um, for surgery and they gave me a date. I went in, I printed out the orders from out the email and I took all that stuff in with me. I have medical insurance so I didn't have to pay any money. Um, so yeah, I went in, took out my orders with me and got all my labs drawn, got my chest x-ray, my EKG, my ultrasound done. I think I got all this stuff done about December the 2nd. By the time December the 4th, December the 6th came, my um, the doctor's office had received everything that they needed. So I was then notified that I had a low hemoglobin, hemoglobin a low hemo level, meaning um, the blood, your blood, um, so blood oxygen, had a low hemoglobin and with that being said they told me that i was at like a 10.5 i needed to be at at least 11.5 to be able to have the surgery with a cell saver um for the doctor that i had chose so i knew that my hemoglobin level was going to be low because i always have um issues with that i have anemia um so with that being said i started taking liquid fluoridics um on my 60 day mark so the 25th of november i started taking liquid for so i could make sure that i was well 
ready. My hemoglobin was up there and ready by the time it was time for me to um, get my procedure. Because I ran into the same kind of incident when I had my BBL. And to where my surgery was almost canceled because my hemoglobin was low. And I couldn't get it um, up there within the time range. So with that being said, 60 day mark, start taking Floridex. I was taking the liquid. I bought it off Amazon and I took 20 mLs um once a day and um so with that being said december 2nd come around my got my hemoglobin um tested again i was at 10.5 they told me i need to be at 11.5 so i knew as long as i was taking it consistently it wasn't going to be no it wasn't going to be no problems or whatnot um hold on a second so uh with my ultrasound so they made me get the ultrasound because they wanted to rule out the c check to see if i had an umbilical hernia um and it showed that i did so that automatically added a thousand dollars on to my balance so therefore they told me that i had the option of getting the umbilical hernia repaired prior to surgery um but i i would rather just get it all knocked out at once so now my balance was that Eleven thousand. I mean, twelve thousand dollars total. So the eleven thousand for the procedure, one thousand for the repair of the umbilical hernia, and then um, with my hemoglobin level being where it was at, they also wanted me to get a cell saver. Now the plan is to get my hemoglobin, my hemoglobin level well above you know where it's where it is now. But even if it's above to where they tell me, hey, you don't have to get the cell saver. I choose to get the cell saver. Uh, I'm going to choose to get the cell saver regardless because I feel like um, I, I, I had that with my BBL and I had a, a better experience. I wasn't like um, short of breath. I wasn't really tired, you know, and I already struggled with anemia already. So basically what the cell saver does is the um, blood that you lose from surgery, it sucks it all up and it puts it back into your body. So, you know, it's, that's a benefit. And that's what I plan on doing, just going ahead and getting the cell saver. So that cell saver is an extra $600. So my total balance for surgery-wise would be $1,200, I mean $12,600 total. So, um, let me see. So, yeah, okay. So with that being said, um, my 30-day market came around. And I had decided that, I mean, my, also my cycle had came around, around my 30 day mark. This was around like Christmas time. So with that being said, I ended up calling because I knew that my cycle would most likely be going on around my, um, surgery. And I did not want that to happen. So I called the doctor's office, um, and I asked them, was it okay if I swapped my surgery day to the week after so I can make sure that my cycle was completely done while going through surgery. I mean, you know, while going through surgery, you know. Because I didn't want to be on my cycle and have to be experiencing all of that. So, um, they told me that in order to reschedule, um, I would have to pay a $500 fee. And that $500 fee would not go towards my actual surgery balance. It would just be a rescheduling fee. So, um, and they could not get me in a week after January the 25th. So, therefore, they scheduled me for February the 15th, which is about two weeks after February, I mean, January 25th. So now my official schedule surgery date is February the 15th. And, um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to that. You know, I'm not changing it. This is what it is. I'm looking forward to it. I didn't complete all my 60 day labs, um, stuff like that. And now I am, um, just waiting on my 30 day stuff to come around which will be january the 15th they should be sending me an email somewhere around there telling me the labs that i have to get done completed again as well as my medical clearance paperwork um and i already set my appointment up with my doctor's office my my regular pcp um and then i'll just print those orders off take those in there with me as well as my medical clearance paperwork and get all of that completed so once I complete all of that and get medically cleared by my doctor, that's when I plan on going ahead and booking my um, recovery house as well as my massages. I did go ahead. And I didn't want to book those things until I got medically cleared because, like I said, the la when I got my BBL, I, I, I literally, they were about to cancel me. And I, I was able to get it up high enough to be able to use the cell saver um, within like... 
seven days and it was like thank god because if not all that money that i had spent on all those things prior to it would have just been a waste because i would have had to been rescheduling everything rebooking everything it would have just been a waste and a headache so with that being said this time around i learned that do not book anything until you're medically cleared however i did go ahead and book my flight and I booked my um, Airbnb because I am going to need an Airbnb for I get down to Miami on Sunday and then I'm not supposed to go to my recovery house until Tuesday. Um, I'm still kind of debating um, how, how this is going to work. I'm not for sure just yet, but I did go ahead and schedule my, I mean, pay for my Airbnb as well as my flight because they were really cheap. So if push it came to shove and for some reason my surgery was canceled, I wouldn't have really been tripping about the loss on that money um, for those two things because it, they were really, really cheap. I think I paid like maybe $179 for my flight total round trip and then my Airbnb probably wasn't nothing but like maybe a hundred and something, almost $200. Um, I did book I did book a first class um, flight coming back because I wanted to make sure I was in the very front and very, very comfortable riding back um, to my city after the surgery. Um, what else? Hold on. Let me see. Um, I did. I am going to be staying at Elite Recovery House. Um I want to say I'm going to be paying a total of $740 and that's going to be from Tuesday up until Saturday. They require a $250 deposit. Um, you have to look on their website. I'll post it below so that you can kind of like see what all that they offer or whatnot. But that's my plan to stand there with them. Um, they do also offer massages. It's like three massages for $200. Um, so I plan on going ahead and, and booking that as well. I only plan on staying down there up until Saturday. So my surgery is Tuesday. I'm only staying to Saturday. Now, push, now different doctors require different things. Um, sometimes they want, they want you to stay down there seven to 10 days. Me personally, all I can give is fast, um, because I really need to, I really want to get back home. But if for some reason things are just not going right, I'm just not feeling right. I will stay longer, um, if needed. So with that being said, I only got myself scheduled until Saturday. So that means my flight is scheduled to be leaving Saturday morning so I can get back home by Saturday afternoon and be comfortable in my house. Um. Let me see. Other than that, um, I did want to go to um, My Body Contour 305 this time around because I went with her during my BBL process. Unfortunately, she didn't have any availability, uh, any availability for me while I would be down there. So that really sucked because I was really excited about being able to, you know, go and experience that again this go round. Um, so, yeah, I plan on getting the massages from the recovery home um from their massage therapist that they have there and then i also booked massages back here in my city so when i come back i'll be able to start my massage therapy as soon as possible um she i, I reached out to the lady i actually used her as well when i went to go get my bbl about two years ago um and she was really really good and so i reached out to her um i asked her what did she recommend i told her the procedure that i was going to go get she did tell me that she recommends 10 massages um, and how often throughout the week. So she's charging me a total of $1,000 for 10 massages. And she already got my whole entire schedule booked out for that, that period of um, the time frame of when I need to be getting the massages done. Starting as soon as I return back home. So um, I did have to pay her a $50 deposit and then I'll just pay on that up until, you know, whenever I start. So I'm very, very, very excited. I'm trying to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Yeah, I'm very, very excited. Um, I'm very excited. So, with that being said, I am going to fill you in on everything that I have going on throughout this whole entire process. I'm going to take you to my appointments. I'm going to let y'all know just the whole overall experience of this mommy makeover. Like, I'm so excited for this new journey, um, and I just can't wait. So I want you all to stay tuned. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. Um, I will follow up with each video with like a question and answer video, just answering all you guys' questions that you might have. I also um, started a surgery page. It's called Mo Leaks. 
underscore at x page um i'll link that below as well so you all can um be able to go to that page and see pictures you know video stuff like i probably wouldn't be able to post on here videos and pictures and then you can also dm me with questions if you have um if if you have them um so yeah make sure y'all subscribe make sure y'all stay tuned because we got a lot coming and i am so excited and i'm so excited to share all of this information with you all as well as my journey so um i'll get back with you all soon bye